Before we start our tutorial video today, if you love our videos please click on like button and make sure to click on subscribe and bell icon. To receive notifications of future helpful content of automation and process control. Now let's get started. Pressure Transmitter Troubleshooting Guide This guide walks you through a realistic field scenario, a pressure transmitter suddenly shows zero or erratic values. We'll go through each step to diagnose and resolve the issue like a true field engineer. Step 1. Check loop power, 24 volt DC supply. Use a multimeter to measure voltage across the transmitter power terminals. A healthy loop should show 22 to 26 volt DC. If it's 0 volt or below 20 volt, check your power supply or blown fuses. Step 2. Inspect wiring and terminals. Open the terminal box and look for loose wires, corrosion, or water ingress. Ensure terminal screws are tight. Reterminate if necessary and ensure polarity is correct. Step 3. Measure loop current. Put your multimeter in series with the loop to measure current. Normal current should be between 4 to 20 mA. 0 mA indicates an open circuit. 20 mA constant might mean over range. Use this as a vital diagnostic indicator. Step 4. Communicate via heart. Connect a heart communicator to the transmitter's loop. If communication fails, the transmitter may be dead. If successful, check configuration settings, range, damping, and PV. Step 5. Compare process versus reading. Verify whether the process pressure truly matches the reading. Use a calibrated gauge as reference. If pressure exists but transmitter shows zero, sensor damage is likely. Step 6. Replace and confirm. If all checks fail, swap with a spare transmitter. If it works, the original is defective. Send it for calibration or replacement. Pro tips. Always carry a loop calibrator and a multimeter. Use cable markers and document connections. Keep silica gel packs in terminal boxes to avoid moisture damage. Test in a systematic way, don't skip steps. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.